and this time I'm uh, in the North Pennines and starting off the track near Dufton and I'm climbing up here. A few walkers ahead up the track which runs up to Hack Up Nick which I'll be going up to later on but I, when I get up the top of this track I'm going to cut left and over that way. Still climbing. Uh, this is actually the pen I forgot to mention and it runs up to Hack Up Nick and down that way obviously it runs to Dufton and the All Eden Valley in the bottom with the North Lakes in the distance you probably can't see this on the camera up we go right uh, still climbing and just a quick look around we've got Merton, Merton uh, Fell over there and somewhere in the bottom there is Arkham Nick uh, I'm just following the Penalway up here for probably another half a mile catching a bit Shooting in progress. No flag, good. Crack on there. Right back. Uh, just sitting here and stabbing a quick look, uh, drink. Looking at Merton Fell over there. It's quite warm again. It's been really lucky with weather over the last few weeks. Scan round Eden Valley again. I'll enjoy my expensive drink. Over and out. Climbing, this is a backstone edge up here. I'm gonna climb up to a cairn on the top, don't think you can see it from here. And then I'm cutting north that way along backstone edge. So once I get up there, I'll bring you back. Not there yet, but uh, I just thought I'd just show you a little bit of view of uh, Merton Fell and Little Fell in the distance. That's MOD. So, if you want to climb that far one, you have to uh, get permission, um, obviously off the MOD. I think you have to um, give them plenty of notice if you want to, to go up and walk it. Uh, apparently there's a lot of uh, shells up there, uh, uh, gun shells and whatever. So, they're saying it's for your own safety. Plus it's they on that area, which is a shame, but... So it is okay, mate. Just to give you an idea how dry my hair's been, I mean this is usually a bog round here, and the air there is tinder dry everywhere. This lot will be up in flames in a second if it took light. Right, I'm at the um, flanks of uh, Backstone Edge. So I'm going to climb up there, uh, side of them rocks there. Catch you later. Nearly there. Just doing a bit of rock climbing on this stuff. And the breeze is picking up. Ooh.
just a few boulders to navigate over and back stone edge trick point. 900, uh, 900, 600 and I think 10 meters. So it's not that high. 2,000 feet, something like that. Great viewpoint. And it's getting breezier. So I hope you can hear what I'm saying. And here it is. This is a better cairn than sitting on some of the major hills. That's Cross Fell over there, and that's that's Dufton Park over there. That's volcanic. 300 million years ago, that came up out to the ground. As, as so did Merton Fell. They call them inliers. Volcanic rock. Right. I'm going to get up on that ridge there and go that way. So, catch you later. Right, I'm on that ridge. Found a pretty good path here as well. Uh, that's the trick point I came from. And I'm going to cut in north now. Over to Knockfell. Catch you in a bit. Still on the ridge. It goes quite away actually, further than I thought. Um, I've come from over that way, right over there. Like I say, it's a bit breezy up here again. And I'm going north, and the view should open up to Cross Fell, Knock Fell, and Great Dunfell. But I'll show you them as I get nearer. Over and out. Cairn with no name. Well, I think it's a cairn, so I'm going to name it after me, Alan Gregory. So I'll put that on the map. Right over there is Knockfell, first one. Second one, Great Dunfell, and your third one, the highest of the three, is Crossfell. And the Penham Way runs right across them. The middle one. Great Dunfell, it's a radar station, it's for the air traffic control. So there's no way I'll be able to fly around there with a the drone. I'll just get loads of warning. So but I'm going that way and then cutting across to the right of Knockfell, which is the first one. Catch you later. Getting near it. Great Dunfell, if you can see it on here, it's the one with the golf ball on top. Well, that's what I call them anyway. Right, just following this path down here now. And round here. Just another quick view. Right, 
come off piste as they say I've come off the path so I'm going to cut across over to that hillside over there because apparently there's an air crash there I'm a Glostia Meteor so we'll go and see if we can find it Roger and out just another shot of great Dunfelt more on that, if you're driving up the M6 and you're going to the um, uh, Penrith turn off, if you look on your right, going north of the M6, you see that golf ball on your right, so you'll know um, what it is now. That's if you're interested. Catch you later. Oh, a bit of good news. Um, well, for me, there's a track here which I can follow up and then cut round to Knockfell go and look for this aeroplane crash instead of cutting across up there over that heather I know I'm lazy catch you later old building I presume it's shooting up but it might be wrong it's locked we can cut short I suppose you could find some shelter somewhere on it Like he's had a new roof, so. Right. Still following this track. Nice little watering hole. Come across on my way. Wind picking up again. Onwards and upwards. Very unusual hole. Just drops out. That's probably a sinkhole. It's pretty deep as well. Just see all the thicknesses of peat. Right, climbing up here now. We go. Good views to the south. Where I've come from. Not far to the summit of Knockfell. Somewhere in there, some aeroplanes have come down, so we'll go and have a look. Before I get up to the top of Knockfell. Right, here it is. Another aeroplane crash. Hope you can hear it because it's very windy. That's like new. That could be a part of the wheel. Even rubber looks new, it's got numbers on it still. Quite a bit of wreckage. Big impact. A lot of wreckage. Don't know what that is, and I'm not going to guess. But again, big impact. Stainless steel, no rust. Right, this was a Glostia meteor crashed in 1954, and he killed sadly both the pilot and co-pilot. It's quite a way out, so we haven't got any wreck hunters, which I don't agree with. It should be left because it's a mark of a grave. So 
that's the view up to Knock Fell. So it's a case of one of them where it's just not, well, just before the summit again, where a few hundred feet and it'd have been over. Sad again. Just seen this cross as a mark of respect. That's Great Dunfell again and Cross Fell. Sorry, I'm going, it's really windy, so I'm mid behind this cairn. That cairn there in the distance, I'm going to follow that and follow the ridge right over to that hill in the distance and then cut back to the right down to Akup Nick. So it's going to be quite a long day. Catch you in a bit. Right, just gonna catch you, bro. Drive for five minutes, so oh. catch you later. Finally, down off um, Knockfell, and uh, pick the river up that feeds down to Icupnick. In the distance you've got Melden, Melden fell, I can't say it. Got a nice river. A bit of a track to follow so shouldn't be too bad. Because that was really hard going on that stuff. Over and out. One of these um, map paths again. That um, these four, four wheel drive uh, four tracks use. A lot easier walking on. Still on the river. Two days later. I was joking. This looks a pretty good spot for you wild campers. Flat, dry up there on the left. Plenty of water. Keep going. We're eating some funny limestone here. Thought it was slippy, but it didn't. It's just turned into limestone. Stuff. That ripple effect. Really nice. Hard to believe that the sea were here at one point. Because this stuff here, limestone, is sea creatures on the bottom of the seabed. Only 300 million years ago. Carboniferous. That's for all you um, geology geeks. Okay, catch you later. That's waterfall. Dropping into this deep pool. It's not warm enough to jump in. It's still nice. No, not there yet. Still falling in the river. Shouldn't be too far now.
bit futuristic. Looks a bit like, I don't know, weird. Right, finally left the bridge and I'm back on the Penang Way and just over my shoulder is our cup nick. So I expect it to be really windy. We'll see how we go on. That's uh, river running to our company. <coughs> right, path back. See you later, company. It's a really nice uh, U-shaped valley cut out with a glacier. All this volcanic rock here, Merton Fell, all that. Call it windsill. Apparently it runs under um, Northumberland, Teesdale, Durham, under the North Sea and it runs right over to Adrian's Wall. Actually Adrian's Wall was built on uh, Windsill. So a bit of uh, geology is apparently when Britain was um, part of North America uh, they, they tried to pull away stretching the earth's crust and all this came to the surface but it, uh, Britain didn't actually break off completely from North America so it just all this came to the surface and cooled very slowly over years, over millions of years it's all the erosion has um, shown all this on the surface the windsill complex catch you later Right, come full circle. That's where I went this morning up there, up to uh, Backstone Edge, and this is uh, back down to Dufton, the track. So it's not that far now. Famous words. Yep. Yeah. Getting nearer. It's getting easy as well.
still on Penang Way. Not that far now. Keep saying that. And that's where I've come from. And let's go. Getting nearer. Nearly there. Quiet now. It's about seven o'clock. Everyone's gone home. Right, finally the track ends. So that's where we end and I'd like to say thanks for watching again. I really hope you enjoyed the video and um, the North Pennines, our cup Nick. Yeah, it's been another nice day. I'd like to say sorry to Megan and uh, Prince Harry. I couldn't make the wedding today. Thanks for the invitation anyway, if you're watching. So I'll uh, catch you on the next one. And uh, please leave a comment if you like the video. Bye for now.